Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here, and today we will be talking about what is the best programming language to learn if you want to become a web developer. As we all know, web developing is still one of the most popular fields in software engineering. And not to mention, most companies are looking to hire these web developers. And many bootcamp out there is also focusing strictly on web applications. So what do I think is the most popular things that you can learn? First up, let's focus on front-end. So when you work with front-end applications, it's mostly relating to HTML styling elements such as CSS, and of course, JavaScript. So the most important language that I think you should learn if you want to focus on front-end or full stack is definitely JavaScript. Many of the bigger tech companies or companies in general, they love to use JavaScript for their front-end developments. Of course, many bigger tech companies, they want to not only use JavaScript, but, but something more type saved. So let's say you start up learning JavaScript and it's probably good once you become comfortable to actually pick up TypeScript. TypeScript is getting more and more popular because it adds this extra type safety and it makes the code very readable and very structured. You will be able to create these class type objects, kind of like objective oriented programming, structured in a way that if you don't reference one object, it will give you a runtime error. A lot of bigger tech companies, they don't just use JavaScript by themselves or TypeScript by themselves. What most likely happens is like they choose one popular frameworks. And the two most popular ones right now is definitely React and Angular. So React and Angular, depending on your personal preference, you can pick one over the other. It's really hard to tell which tech companies uses which one until you join, but the structure is actually very similar. Let's say you start with JavaScript, and once you become familiar, you want to you know, start with like a project or work on some portfolio projects, then you probably want to start off with some sort of these frameworks. The frameworks make it so you have one place to manage all your programming code from CSS, HTML, and just make it really easy. If I have to recommend one, I would definitely say React is more user-friendly initially, and there are a lot of resources out there, whereas Angular is a lot harder to get your head around potentially. But all of them share very advanced concepts, such as like Redux or some sort of like NGRX, which is similar to Redux, but for Angular. So you have to be comfortable with a lot of these concepts. So let's say like you just want to learn. I would say the learning path would be first become very familiar with JavaScript. And if you can, pick up TypeScript. And once you are comfortable with the fundamental programming languages, such as JavaScript, CSS, HTML, then now is the time to consider which framework you want to work with, which then you can start building projects. So it's learning and then practicing. I would say start with React, maybe make a to-do list or something like straightforward and simple and just get used to this type of framework. So now moving to backend. So backend is something that actually a lot of people may not like as much because it's just scarier and maybe it's harder for some cases. And that's totally fine. You don't have to know both. If your plan is to just become a front engineer, then the first section will be plenty. But if you want to become a backend engineer or full stack, then there you go. You probably want to learn some sort of backend. So what's the most common ones right now? In my experience, bigger tech companies are still using either C++ or Java as their backbone. And out of these two, I definitely think Java is something that you should pick up. Not only because so many companies use Java, but also the new language Kotlin is coming out. And Kotlin has so many good features that I think it will actually one day become one of the dominant backend coding languages, especially it makes it so easy to compile into Java. So Kotlin technically once it's compiled, it generates Java source file behind the scene. But the way you're writing Kotlin code, it's a lot cleaner and smoother, like all the getters and setters becomes very, very easy. So Kotlin is something that you can learn after you become comfortable with Java, but it's, it's not really a requirement. So if you don't have a lot of times, I would say just focus on Java. And next up, of course, like bigger tech companies might prefer like Java, for example. But I do see a lot of other companies and even bigger companies use another coding language, which is Node.js. So Node is actually something that's very popular in the field. And it's, especially if you already know JavaScript, the syntax are actually very similar. And you might become very familiar after you learn JavaScript. 
and then it's it may worthwhile to pick up the skill just because it's very similar syntax that you don't have to relearn a lot of useful skills whereas sure like java it's very different from like how you would write javascript code so that there's the learning curve right there but node.js isn't something that i actually see a lot especially at bigger tech companies so like definitely like it's very situational another popular backend it's a uh, python so python is very situational like it's definitely very easy to learn but a lot of times not very not many projects uses it sure like instagram built on Python so like if you work at Instagram for example like you might write some Python codes like for example Google search or like YouTube for example like they might not have used Python they, they mostly use C++ so definitely be aware like Python is a good language to learn for coding interviews but it may not be what you need if you want to succeed as a back-end engineer and the way that you code in Python can be very different from like Java for example but on the good side the way you code in Python it's actually pretty similar to how you might code in Kotlin. Like there are similarities. So learning Python could help you pick up Kotlin a lot easier. Of course, like it's not purely the same. Like it's still very, very different. Definitely keep that in mind, but the style is. So yeah, if you want to become a backend software engineer, I would say definitely learn Java as your number one goal if you can. If you're thinking about something else, for example, Node.js or Python, either one of them could work as well. Cause at the end of the day, technical skills are transferable. So learning one or more of these definitely will increase your chance to succeed at your job. So to conclude, I would say besides these, there are other very popular frameworks, you know, front-end coding languages such as Flutter or Vue, such as Flutter or Vue. Like these are actually gaining a lot of ground and stuff. It's just like when you have these type of languages, you really need to be cautious because like maybe not a lot of companies are actually using it just yet. So if you just quickly jump into it, you might not find a lot of opportunity that uses those languages. But of course, if you don't mind that, like go for it. And of course, Flutter is backed by Google. So, you know, like there's definitely some project that Google works on that require Flutter. So if you're thinking about going to Google or like bigger tech companies. So in conclusion, I think full stack or web developers is still one of the best field in software engineering. It's definitely worth picking up some skill sets here because at the end of the day, technology skills are all transferable. Learning more and more will only make you a better software engineer. And at the end of the day, if you have to pick two languages, one for front and one for backend, I would say front end is definitely TypeScript and backend Java. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.